this. Okay, so I need this one.
Do me a favor. I just printed two pages in there. Could you grab them for me? Thank you. Oh, where's the sound? Can you hear me? Hello, Lady Alicia. How, How are you are? going? I am well. I'm well. Good to see Good. you, my you sister. Look, you look lovely. I feel like I'm just uh, didn't get it together. <laughs> well, I, I I just pulled it together at the very. Oh, end. I'm. I, you Who know, this lovely angel sitting next to you. You have an angel. This is my granddaughter, Iris. Oh, how beautiful are Iris. you? Look at that smile. Hi, That's Iris. Your beautiful smile. Thank you for joining us today. This <laughs> meeting is probably going to be boring. Oh, don't say it's going to be boring. <laughs> this is an exciting. You might, you might learn something. <laughs> Hi, Agrippa. <laughs> Out of the mouths of babes, huh? Hello, Mr. Agrippa. How are you? Yes, I'm fine. How are you doing? Very I good. You said grandpa. Thank you. Agrippa. Agrippa, that's a Bible name. Did you know that? No. We haven't uh, gotten to that part of the Old Test of the New Testament. Yeah. It's in the New Testament? It's in the New Agrippa Testament. Agrippa was a Bible name. Is it scriptural? Is yeah. It right? In the book oh. of Acts. Oh. It sounds like you're saying grandpa. No, it means Agrippa. You can read it right there, Iris. Azaza. Agrippa. Ezozo. Uh. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? How are you doing, Iris? Hot. Oh, you know, I should grab my phone. Let me grab my phone right back. Let me grab my phone. Like that? Grippa, I'm going to make you co-host so you can let people in and Not a problem. whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay. You're the boss. Oh, I am. Woo. I'm going to take advantage of those privileges then. There you go. <laughs> Let's see. Make, make co-host. Okay. There you go. Yeah, so you can let people in and show stuff and do stuff, whatever, whatever. Yeah, so Lori, I know you've been, you've had a chance to attend some of the sessions that we've had in between since our last meeting. Your sound is off again. Your sound. I attended the IT sector meeting i attended the legal session and uh, mm -hmm. uh the last one it was a large gathering i didn't yeah, i didn't attend the social like media one. plus people oh yeah uh-huh it was yeah. a large one I, I was i've been really impressed there's been at least 300 plus people at every one of those gatherings mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. far 
you know, it's really spreading. And uh, the one coming yes. up Saturday, we're going to talk about that today, is on that Ottawa coin. Is that how you say it, Agrippa? Adua, Adua. or Ottawa? Adua. 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 Is this is it a Bitcoin? Yeah. Yes. It's a cryptocurrency, yeah, for, mm -hmm. for the continent. And we're getting a special rate for ADDI members. Mm-hmm. Okay, Gail's needing the ID and passwords. Let me uh, put oh, that. We don't have no ID, right? Yeah, it should be in there, but I'll uh, let's see. I really use no ID when I log in. No, it shouldn't be. All you do is click the link. I don't. Exactly. Know she has trouble with that. Yeah. Let me go in and get her. Can you let them in, Agrippa? I'm trying to uh, go get this password yeah. for Gail. Okay, there's a few people they've been. Yes, I just admit them. Yeah, I'll go find that for her. Let me let her know. I'm coming. Okay. You found it? I'm still, no, not yet. <laughs> Actually, I haven't. Nice kids. I I know it was dropped. I'm trying to go to where I can drop it in and let her know that I'm coming. Oh, you did. You did. Yeah. You gave it to her? I see it says no, click the link. Not, not Gail. I've not given it to Gail yet. Okay. Because it was in the, um, oh, I know it's in the email. It's in the email for today. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for being here. We're just getting everybody situated and we'll be starting shortly. Let's see. Um, okay, here we go. So you should just have to press the link. Okay. You just pressed the link that was in the email, right? Yeah, that's what I did. Okay, let me just drop that in there to the, for her. Okay. And then let me give her the call in number just in case as well. Just in case she has to use, let's see where to go. Do 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 do. Uh, let's see. Let me get the meeting ID and passcode. Okay. Let me give her that too, just in case. More. Okay. Good evening. Thank you. We'll be starting shortly. Just getting everybody situated. No problem. Okay. Let's see. That should work. And we'll go back here for that. And let me find you guys. Where'd you go? Okay. Here we are. Okay, moving along. People are still joining. So it's uh we'll give another minute. I have people who are asking me how to log in. So as soon as we uh, get them situated, we'll go ahead and start. Thank you again for being here. No problem, problem, problem. Hey, Silky D. Hey, love, how you doing? <laughs> I am well. Glad to be here. I know that's right. I'm glad you're here too. I'm glad to be here too. <laughs> Yeah. And working at the same time, uh, I guess we're going to have to change our entertainment meeting if we're going to have these meetings because, you know, that's at the same time. Oh, is it? Yes. I was I looking at that. Way. Maybe that's why I've been on there by myself because everybody's on your... Over here. Well, we, we only do it once. We were doing it every other week. Um, we're going to go to once a month and have committee meetings in between now starting okay. today. Um, okay. I didn't realize it was the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm like, uh, <laughs> what's going on? Exactly. My apologies for that. So we'll, uh, right. 
I think we're going to stick to Wednesday here, but it'll just be once a month on okay. Wednesdays. Okay, so let me get ready to share my screen. Whoa, where'd my picture go? Uh, whoa, I just had that picture sitting here. Let me click something. Okay, mm. here comes Miss Gail. Okay. Dead already. Okay. All right, you guys. I, I had this picture up here. Where'd it go? Here it is. Ooh, that's something. All right. I had a photo that I wanted to share with you. Okay. And we start recording as well. And we can start. All right. Wow. Tara Bennett Smith has a beautiful photo. My goodness. That's a great headshot. Hi, Miss B. Who's that? <laughs> I said hi to Miss B. I just saw oh, a Tara Ms. Bennett Smith's yeah. photo. I said that's a beautiful photo. Okay, let me get the recording started. And good. okay, great. We're good. Okay, everyone. Thank you again for being here this evening. This is our uh, California ADDI and African Diaspora Development Institute chapter meeting. Uh, we have some new guests here tonight. I want to thank you all for coming. If this is your first time coming or if, if, you, if you were invited by someone else, please drop your email and name and contact information in the chat so we can add you to our mailing list. Uh, my name is Lady Alicia Hamilton. I am the chair for uh, California uh, region. And I'm joined here today with our core team, uh, Mr. Agrippa Azozo. Uh, Hello, yes. everyone. <laughs> yes. And many of our uh, core team members, we have uh, Gail McKenzie here, um, Simona Lisa, uh, I know uh, more will be joining as we uh, proceed. We have some special guests here tonight. I'm so, so happy to see my brother, uh, Keith, is here. Hey, Alicia. Hey, easy. Hello, Keith. How you doing? Oh, we're blessed, brother. Just happy to be here. Yeah, you go. Thank happy you. New Year. Yeah. Happy and Agrippa, is your, is your guest here as well? The person nope. you wanted to ask me? They are not here. I just texted them and they have not responded. Okay. No, so no we, can, we can go ahead and start. Okay. All right. Very good. So um, again, this is the uh, California chapter meeting and uh, I have sent the, um, the uh, agenda out and um, we're just gonna go over what we'll discuss today. Let me share my share my screen with you here. Give me a second to pull that up. Okay. And we'll share the screen. Just out the way so I can see it. Okay. Let me jump on the thing. Let's see. Okay, can you all see my screen? Yes. Okay. And uh, let's see, Agrippa, if you can let the other people in, there's a few people in the waiting room, if you can let them in. Okay. Uh, all right, so tonight we're going to uh, go over a few things uh, moving forward with the uh, ADDI. Um, and again, welcome to all of you. Thank you. We're going to try to keep our meeting to an hour in uh, consideration of everyone's time. Uh, tonight, we'll be talking about the ADDI blueprint, basically how everything is structured for clarification. For some, this will be an introduction. For others, just an update and review. And then I thought it would be very important for everyone to know about these events. There have been so many events that have been coming up and awesome presentations that are coming up uh, for this year, for 2021. Uh, uh, our, our director, our president and founder of ADDI, uh, Ambassador Arakana Chahamboy Kwa, is in demand all over the world. It's, it's amazing. And, and ADDI, ADDI has been uh, really spreading like wildfire. I mean, it's, it, it's awesome uh, with 
chapters opening up literally around the world. We closed out 2020 with 53 chapters that had been set up just in our first six to eight months of being open. Uh, and so with that, we have um, people coming to us from around the world representing the interests of our African diaspora. And then also also has a demand then for doing things in multiple languages. That's something we'll talk about tonight. But we are at the ground level of a phenomenal moment in history for people of African descent. And the uh, programs that um, uh, our excellency, uh, Dr. Arakana has been invited to speak at is gonna change the direction of our people moving forward for the future. That's all I can say. It, it, this, this is the new movement. This is our new narrative. And we are a part of that. And so again, I'm very grateful for everyone that's here, but sometimes I know you might get a little frustrated that I'll let you know, like the day before something comes up, well, my apologies, but sometimes that's all the notice that I will have. And I just try to share what I get. And so if we get things in advance, I will absolutely let you know to the best of my ability, but we don't always have that much of an advance notice. Uh, but nevertheless, there are some things coming up soon that I really wanted to make sure you, you all knew about. So we'll be talking about the upcoming presentations and events. Uh, then in terms of the sectors, uh, well, when we talk about the blueprint, that'll make more sense, but uh, we really do need to know where people would like to get involved in the various sectors and we'll go over how that's, uh, how that's broken up or how it's shaped. And then just as an update, uh, we've been talking, because we have been talking last year about the African Union having their elections uh, that was done uh, this past February in the beginning of February. And so now they have a new AU chairman, um, uh, Mr. Faki, who you all have are heard a lot about, uh, is uh, appointed as the chairman for the next four years for the African Union. He did run unopposed. Uh, and so he won because there was nobody running against him. Uh, and then we'll go over, just so you're familiar with these names, people who are in the other positions uh, uh, in the African Union that's located in Addis Ababa. Okay, and then AOB is any other business that we have and, and hopefully we'll have our special guest to talk to us tonight about the Adua coin. Uh, but also there is an event coming up on this Saturday that I'll give you the information on for those who might be interested in getting more information about the Adua coin. And that is a cryptocurrency that's being used uh, in Africa for the continent. And it's growing like crazy. Uh, and uh, we have an excellent opportunity, a, a discount that's made available just to members of ADDI. And so I'm not trying to give investment information at all. That's not my uh, intention, but I did want to make you know about the, uh, I'm sorry. I did wanted to let you know about the opportunity as we will continue to share about opportunities that are coming up uh, through, through the Institute. Okay, so with that being said, the first thing that we're going to get into, unless there's any other comments that anyone has to make, um, we'll go into the ADDI blueprint. So I'll stop sharing my screen just for a second. Does anybody have any comments uh, before we move forward? Okay. I just wanted to um, thank you, Alicia, so much for your leadership. I am just so honored to be in your presence. I just always love seeing your face. Your energy is amazing. I just want to thank you for being, putting yourself out front and making this happen for us. It's so beautiful. Thank, thank you. you. You know, I admire you. We got a mutual admiration thing going on. <laughs> I really hope that we can work together on the entertainment. And oh, I got you, girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we'll be talking about that tonight. Yes. Great. You know, I, every time I think of entertainment in LA, I think I gotta call, gotta talk to Candy because she knows everybody. <laughs> Thank you for saying yeah. that though. Well received. Okay. Let's go. All righty. So I am um, I'm gonna open up my screen to uh, show you the, the blueprint. Um, so you have an idea of our structure and how things are set up. So let me share my screen again. And Okay, so hopefully everybody can see that. Everybody's good. Okay, so 
Um, ADDI is made up of two divisions, if you will. We have our nonprofit activities that's here and our for-profit activities. ADDI, the African Diaspora Development Institute, is our nonprofit side of the, of, of the institute. The for-profit side will actually be under ADHI, the African Diaspora Holdings, uh, that part of the institute. So when we talk about investments and projects and all that, that'll be on this side, the ADHI, and then the structure and the setup and how we receive uh, information and disseminate it out to the diaspora globally, that'll be on the nonprofit side. And so the goals of the ambassador, as we have been talked about before, some of the main goals is one to establish a DDI to represent the African diaspora officially around the world. There isn't an official seat right now for the six regions. So Africa is made up of five regions, North, East, South, West, Central. The sixth region is those of us of African descent who live around the globe. And so the strategy is to amass the numbers of people that you would have represented in one of the smaller countries. Uh, and so we're targeting a million members. With a million members in ADDI, uh, she will be then uh, looking to officially have us appointed to represent the sixth region. So that is uh, one goal, one target, and for our communications and outreach, uh, people who are in that area have expertise in that area. We're going to be forming committees to work on different action plans. And so while we're going through this tonight, the outcome will be that we will end up with committees working on these specific tasks. Okay, so one goal is the sixth region. With that, then we or seek to get a first rider refusal on projects. So rather than the projects going to the Chinese or to the French or to people who are not of African descent, that it could go hopefully to the children of Africa or the children of Africa who are living around the world. So that's what that first right of refusal will do because we can't expect, and, and uh, Her Excellency has said this many times, you can't expect people to sit somewhere in the dark when they have an opportunity to get solar panels and, and electricity for example, and the Chinese are offering to do it, you can't expect them to sit there in the dark because we're not organized and ready to provide service. Yeah. But there are plenty of our people around the world who have this expertise. And so we're not organized though around the world. So people don't know yeah. where we are. And so yeah. as we bring our membership together, as you notice, if you've signed up for ADDI, it asks, you know, what's your occupation, what's your background? So we can reach out to those of us in the diaspora globally and hopefully fulfill these projects as they go forward. Mm -hmm. uh, we've mentioned in previous meetings that as of the first of the year, the African continental free trade area is officially started. And so where you before had a lot of, you know, restrictions and tariffs and boundaries trying to do business across the continent, that's all been removed. So this one big area for trade and commerce, much easier to do business. And of course, there's a lot of people salivating trying to get that business because we know Africa is so rich. She's so amazing. And prayerfully, this time moving forward, her children will benefit from this and not just people who, I hate to say it, but they just exploit, they exploit. They don't do fair deals. And that's been the problem. It's one thing to bring in the technology and the expertise, but if you're gonna do that, be fair. And you know, they haven't been fair. Yeah. They've been doing horrible deals. Mm -hmm. So we want to be the ones to represent that and hopefully do better business that will bring more prosperity for generations to come for the children of Africa. Mm -hmm. The humanitarian projects and the million dollar campaign are both areas that we're looking forward to, one, raising money because all the projects have to have money, of course, you know, to do them. Uh, and then also um, helping others. And so under humanitarian, there's a training and education program, a youth empowerment program, a women empowerment program, and legacy project. All of these are on the website at ouraddi.org. 
So you can go there and get more information about all of those programs. So on nonprofit activities, then you have on one side, then you have on the other side, the for-profit activities, which right now we're looking at the Travaco project, which includes all of these areas, utilities, transport, energy, biotech, all the things here. The Wakanda One Smart Cities, uh, we've already broken ground in Ghana or have established our site in Ghana, which is uh, 25, acres uh, of oceanfront property and then 5,000 acres inland for two smart Wakanda cities. Uh, and I'll try to show you some pictures before we leave, but it will be in the newsletter. So I'll just wait. So I won't try to do too much at one time. There'll be pictures in the newsletter that'll be out in the next day or so. Uh, we, I'm still waiting for disapprovals on the last few changes that we made. And so look out for that newsletter. I'll send it after today's meeting. Um, the, um, the Addis Bank is also an excellent opportunity. Um, they're establishing a, a, a bank for investing in Africa. And for those who have an interest in that, there are gonna be more sessions on the Addis Bank, but the investment there is uh, $1,500 to become a founding member uh, of, of this bank. Uh, Agrippa, do you have any more information that you can add about Addis Bank? Because I'm speaking very generally. Do you have some more information on that? You're you're muted. No, I don't. They had the meeting, I think yesterday or the day before, mm -hmm. but I didn't attend. So Okay. But okay. I have I have the I have the recording. So if anybody wants, I can I can share it with you. Okay. So we will definitely do that when we when we get into the programs and things, I'll I'll address that again. But for anybody who's interested in that, you know, we've been talking about, you know, the structure and bringing things together and organizing. Now we're starting to get into actually getting into some specific, um, specific projects. And so um, the Addis Bank is another opportunity for the uh, holding company that will be investing in the projects. Okay, and then the African Diaspora Fund. So nonprofit activities, for-profit activities, and that's all supported by the chapters. And then also within the chapters, we have the sectors. So for the chapters, we are the California chapters, but as I mentioned, there are chapters all over the country and all over the world. Uh, South America blew up in the last quarter of last year. We have chapters in, in Asia and Europe. It's, it's, it's amazing. And uh, so although each chapter has the sectors as shown here, they're not all going to be activated at one time. They will be activated according to the people who are there on the ground. What needs are there in those communities? What leadership do we have and expertise do we have that can lead a certain chapter? So the example I give often is that like here in California, because of being in Southern California and us being in Hollywood, our media sector would probably be a higher up on the order of chapters that would, I mean, uh, sectors that would get mobilized as opposed if it was in a smaller place or, or, or a country or someplace that doesn't have, that's not as media centric. Um, in other areas, um, they have more, let's say medical people, people in the medical profession or engineers or whatever. And so we can mobilize our programs and projects when we have a need and when we have the people who can satisfy that need and move things forward. And that's where the committees come in. Um, so with that overview here, I'm gonna move to um, the, um, the sector so you can see them a little bit bigger. But so far, is there any questions with that and what, what we've just said so far? Any questions from anyone? Okay. All right. Well, then moving from the blueprint. Did you say we're getting an email with that image or you said a newsletter? The newsletter. So the newsletter will have the pictures from um, the site in Ghana where the Wakanda One City is going up. Mm -hmm. And what I just showed you, we're going to send out, um, but it'll be in, in sections. So the first section would be just the structure and then a separate page for the sectors, another one for the chapters, another one for the for-profit and non-profit. And I don't, I don't have that available to me today yet. It hasn't been released. 
But okay. I wanted to at least see the overview. So when we get that, I will send it. But the newsletter will not have that. It will just have not the graphic we just saw. No, not not the newsletter. But I'll okay. be able to share that as soon. It, it should. I was hoping to have it by today, but I I didn't get the final uh, today. And so once I get it, I'll share that with you. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Okay, so moving along to um, upcoming events and, and presentations. So on this Saturday, um, there is an introduction to a Pan-African digital currency, which is a blockchain solutions and also an introduction to the Cybersecurity Academy. Okay, um, and uh, we do have a special guest that hopefully will join us before the meeting's over that can give us a little more, <clears throat> a little more information about the Ottawa, uh, Odua coin. Um, but this webinar will be on this Saturday, February 20th. Um, this blockchain network called the Odua coin and Odua means roadmap to wealth. Uh, it was founded by an African diaspora member. And during that webinar, there'll be an announcement by ADDI about an opportunity for the diaspora to uh, participate in sponsoring African youth to be trained by a partnering cybersecurity training academy that's also being run by an African diaspora founder. Okay, so this will be on this Saturday, February, February 20th at 11 a.m. Eastern time. And I'm putting in the chat where you can sign up and get more information about that, about that, about that webinar. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me. Um, but the other opportunity is that all ADDI members will get a discount as a special uh, uh, opportunity to get um, what says on there 50% off at the meeting I was at last week, they were talking about getting it for 20 cents a coin where it's trading at 62 cents a coin. So if you use the, um, the links that we'll be providing for you for that, um, a do a coin, you'll be able to get the discount as an ADDI member. So what they're going to do is check and make sure that you're on the membership list and then you can get that discount. Uh, but that'll be coming up on the Saturday. Uh, after this meeting, I'll send to you um, more of these uh, uh, seminars and things that are coming up. But I just wanted to go over what we're planning over the next several months. So you will be looking out for them and we'll be able to follow up. So we had a wonderful meeting. Some of you may have attended the investment in Zambia. Uh, it was phenomenal with the uh, ministries of finance and, and people who will be able to make this actually happen. Um, and these recordings, uh, I think a lot of them, if they're not on YouTube, um, I'll see if I can get some links for you to, to, uh, to see them. But specifically that one in Zambia turned out, in my opinion, to be a great model for other presentations we'll be doing for investment opportunities in other countries. Um, but that was uh, earlier this month in February. Um, there's also their, um, let me see here, sorry. Uh, the ambassador spoke at the World Economic Congress Summit earlier this month. Um, there's going, there's, there'll be follow-up meetings on, on all of these things as, as, they, are, uh, as they are presented. Um, there's also an Africa 101 lecture series that's been going on with Albany, Albany University in, in Georgia. Uh, and so that started just this week and will be continuing on. And so some of the HBCUs and other colleges are asking Her Excellency to come and speak. And this is all of course tied back to the, um, the Africa 101. And if you haven't gotten the book yet, it's so phenomenal. And in the book also, there's QR codes that you can put your phone over and, and get more videos with her speaking to you. Uh, and speaking of that, she's also doing these fireside chats. So more intimate one-on-one -on -one conversations with her. 
and so the fireside chat will be coming up. Um, I did mention the digital currency and then the continuation of the discussion on reparations. So um, if you had a chance to attend that last year, uh, attorney uh, Benjamin Crump, who's the attorney who uh, was representing uh, Brianna, Brianna Taylor and the Floyd family and those atrocities that happened with the police, uh, he was the um, moderator and, and key speaker for a discussion about reparations. And so there's a group of attorneys from around the world really, who have been talking about the different aspects of what reparations look like for people of African descent. And uh, those of you who are in that area and would like to get more involved, we can put you in contact with the leadership there. But that's a really important discussion for us and, and something that we need to be on top of. And so uh, look out for those too. Those are um, their continuations. It says a, a conversation on reparations. So for example, on February 26, there's a second conversation on reparations and how it affects South Africa, South America, I'm sorry, South America. And so there'll be additional conversations on reparation and how it impacts either certain communities, certain you know, countries or certain groups, certain aspects of, of our, of our uh, society. Okay, and then let's see, in addition to the other um, interviews and, and radio shows, uh, various sectors from the, the healthcare sector to the engineers, uh, to the IT sector, all of, all of these various sectors and other locations are hosting Her Excellency to come in and, and speak to their groups on these various subjects, which of course is open to the rest of us. But here in California, I'm hoping that as we move from today, we can start looking at what do we wanna do? You know, I, I really would like to see us do something in the entertainment area and, and get our leadership who are social influencers because all of our celebrities and people, they have followings of millions, many of them. And hopefully they would be able to help move some of the objectives forward as far as um, either raising interest about ADDI so we can get our million members and officially represent the sixth region and or selling the book because of the information that's there and how it's information that you're not gonna get. And unfortunately, you just don't really get it in school. You know, we have to look far and wide to get the truth about our experience and what we've been to, been through. So, um, after this meeting today, I would like to please, you know, either reach out through email or, or you know, you can call or whatever, but we need to get more specific about what we're going to do here in California. Okay, so uh, I'll stop there. Any questions about any of the upcoming meetings? And then uh, again, I'll send an email to some of the links. Uh, Agrippa has some links that he has and um, I will do the same thing so you can get some of the recordings. But does anybody have any questions about um, upcoming meetings and, and things to look forward to? Nope. Thank you. Got to Candy Nicole. Let's please let's do that. Yes. Okay. All right. Well then moving along, there's no other questions there. Um, on the sector updates, let me pull up this document to go over the sectors. Let's see, here we are. And let's see if I can share my screen. Share sectors. Okay, so again, this will be an introduction to some, uh, but a review for others on how our sector structure is. So all of the chapters have the, the sectors, but not all of them are gonna be activated all at once. It depends on the people, the leadership that we have in those areas, and then also the needs of the community. And so, and I did, I did email this out before. So you do have this doc, I will email it again on this meeting follow-up uh, just so you have it again, but this was sent to you previously but these are the areas, healthcare, education, infrastructure, engineering, agriculture, manufacturing, energy, banking, finance, trade, industry, environment, legal, 
science and technology, community outreach, tourism, culture, and business development. Um, that's what we have thus far, not meaning, meaning that we may add to this, morph it, tweak it as we move forward, but all of the chapters have the same foundation. And then we will go from there, depending on what activities and things that we wanna do here in California. Uh, and, and that's where, you know, like I said, outcomes from this meeting, we need to look at what are we gonna do here in, in, our, in our community to, to add to what ADDI is doing globally. Um, okay, so I'll stop again. Does anyone else have a question before I move on? I, I'm sorry, this is Sophronia Castell. I was asked, I was wondering about what if we had a directory of all of the California chapters, like all the people in California and their mm -hmm. backgrounds and what they did and, you know, something like that to start with. And I've been, mm -hmm. I've been toying with the idea of, I know I studied architecture and I know there's some beautiful homes of African descendants here. And I was wondering if there would be like something with, I don't know, it might be off, way off, but we could do like a little film, like a short film and have people homes shown off, like this is what I, you know, this is where I live. And just because people, we don't see that enough. Okay. Well, would you take leadership in something like that? Because we can talk about, well, first of all, let me ask you this. Yeah. So in terms of a directory um, for our members, as long as we need to have a way for everybody to get in touch with each, with each other. Yeah. And so, yeah. I, but I think respectfully, I can send out an email to everyone who has been involved and ask them if they are want to be published or not. And for yes. those who want to be published, I see no problem with it. I think it's actually a really good idea. Um, right. Does anybody else have comments on that? That for those who want to be published, and then if you want to take leadership in doing something like that, I mean, that sounds like it sounds like a lot of fun. I'd be interested in seeing that myself. So, what okay. do you guys think? Any other any other comments? I would like to be published. Are you saying, are you saying a directory as in like um, names, phone numbers, email addresses, that kind of thing, like a contact list? Yeah, yeah we could. Yeah, definitely. Some we can, you know, like it could be a, a like a, a live, you know, internet kind of directory. You don't have to be a book. It can be just information compiled together and, and emailed to each other. I kind of feel like that's what we were building with the registration right yeah but this is for the whole thing now we're just looking at california as a whole we're just looking for california and then maybe we can go into the other yeah uh, andy are you saying that you think that we should be we should be able to extract the california membership from the registry do you no. think that they would give us that information oh yeah I, yeah that, that, that i don't think that's going to be an issue. why not yeah, we're, we're still, you know, this is so new and it's blown up quite a bit. And so getting the, the data situated and, you know, how we're going to do things, you know, we're still working a lot of those details out. But um, internationally, uh, you know, I, I'm sure there would be some legalities in having things published. But if we locally, for those who agree that they want to be part of this exchange, so you have two things happening. One is a directory of our chapter members so people can be in touch with each other. But yes. out of respect, some folks rather be in the background. They don't really want to be out front. They just want to help and support. So I would think we would have to ask them or ask our group who minds being part of this directory. But then it would give everybody a chance to see who's here. And I, I think that would be really helpful. But it sounds like, secondly, Safrina, that you're saying that in addition to the directory, you would want to have some kind of video or film made about yes. who's who and what yes. they do in LA, who, who the, you know, the quote unquote, not the actress and actresses, but who are doing what in LA per. Yeah. It's, it's kind of a little profile on, on who people are and, 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 yes. and what they do. Yes, yeah. Those who, 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 who want to do it. I mean, who wants to. But you know, Sophie, I think that some of the high profile folks, uh, especially in the entertainment sector, may be open to 
having uh, tours or conducting tours of the residences. Or, I mean, I've seen like I saw a tour of Will Smith's house, mm-hmm. and you know, I would think that maybe Will Smith and Jada Pickett, if they would do it on, you know, somebody else out there, wh- why wouldn't mm-hmm. they do it for? ADDI, right. you know, knowing right. that they're actually speaking to the African diaspora as they're giving exactly. a tour of their house and what their aspirations are for their children and that, you know, what their aspirations are for the continent. I think that that would be very, very interesting, especially as we're working to develop the entertainment sector. Right. Uh, I would like to hear the voice of, of our high net worth people um, in California, speaking yeah. about their aspirations for the for the diaspora and for the mm-hmm. continent, and yeah. you encouraging, know, encouraging the youth encouraging the words you know, yeah, from people that, that are recognizable people. would be right. very right. cool. Right. Would the purpose be to drive membership and drive involvement to that drive is, membership is and to drive yeah. to ADDI exactly? And to and to raise funds too, because if you if you get that kind of high profile activity, we're raising money, so we would like to see contributions. I would think that that would be. Uh, it may take a while, but I think the book. I was just thinking, okay, if I have access to some entertainers, mm-hmm. I would first. I'm thinking of someone already, uh, a lawyer who is well known among uh, entertainers. Mm-hmm. And I would like to get, you know, I would I would put a copy of Africa 101 in his hands, let him read it first. Right. And then say, this needs to be shared and to get, get help to get that, that shared. Cause when you get the Africa 101 and that becomes the voice of the ambassador Yep. So, so people know. I like what, what you're saying because a lot of times what happens is people think that, okay, if we get celebrity involvement, yes, that does bring awareness and it does bring obviously attention. However, if the purpose is to lead people to a call to action, which is join the organization, get involved, get connected, um, we really need to focus on that messaging and the story that we're telling and make sure that that's compelling first and foremost. Um, because- I totally agree. I, I, <clears throat> I, I think that's all of it is a great idea, but my concern is they have to be of the same mindset. I don't, to just to go out and get some celebrity for the sake of having celebrity, but what is what is their mindset for for dealing with the continent? Are they interested? Because you have a number of our celebrities, they have no clue. True. So being selective and who what celebrity we use that's gonna speak volumes to what we do. Because if you notice in kind of what's going on, when you start speaking out for our interest and you're in that Hollywood mindset and that group, they frowned upon that. Oh, you're, you know, you work, you know, now and things become jeopardy for them. Well, so the I just think if we're going after celebrity that mm-hmm. we need to see where they are and how connected they are to us. Are they so far above that they are, they become the Negro peons, but that's just right. me. I don't mean to be negative. I think I like the idea. I get the purpose of what you're saying. It's just that um, no one is coming to save us. I don't care if it's a celebrity or I don't think there's any outside. And I work with celebrities all the time. So I'm not trying to say this to be um, Debbie the Downer. I just would rather us focus on what is our core messaging and who are we attracting and, and what is our purpose for organizing? And then we will attract the right like-minded people Thank who you. like to lend yeah. their, you know, um, their following to our cause based on the fact that we've already honed in on wh- who it is that we are and why we're here 
and what our message is. That has to be first and foremost, um, because celebrities have a, they could hijack the whole thing and then it becomes about being famous, <laughs> which is not, that's not why we're here. Um, so I would be very careful with that and have just a really well-developed plan and really, really focused and centered messaging that speaks to the heart of the issue and gets the people that we need in the positions that we need them to be in, regardless, because the following is going to come. People need this. Mm -hmm. All of us need this, whether we realize it or not. And I think someone else had spoke, spoken to the fact that um, there are a number of celebrities I've even encountered in my own career who see any uniting effort of people of the African diaspora as a direct threat to their established um, business. So not everybody who looks like us is really on our team. Okay. So um, <laughs> right there, that is a mouthful right there. Yeah. yeah, can you hold up? I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it, I'm keeping it real. A suggestion. I would rather empower and we will the figure out what person. Is there, okay who thinks that they, you know, are just something, you know, oh, I'm just a mom or I'm just this or I'm just that. Empowering them can take this mission so much farther than, you know, getting a token celebrity who is just gonna be there to give us a little bit of shine. And I know that we will attract them because I'm already having those types of conversations and I'm already sharing that behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. um, so that's going to come However, if we don't have our stuff together, these people are business people. At the end of the day, they're going to be like, um, do you know how many organizations are trying to get my attention right now? So <laughs> let's get our stuff together and be organized first and foremost. And I promise you that will be a part of the journey. Okay, well, I'm going to make a quick comment about that. Um, and, and then also Silky has her hand up. So I want to hear what she has to say. But well, Silky think, knows. Yeah, uh, <laughs> The takeaways um, from this, though, I like the idea of a directory for our our California chapter uh, for people who want to, you know, be published, so we can find each other, so we can hook up with each other. Because we have to get past where we are now, meeting as a group where we come together and you know we kind of have a, a feel for what this is moving forward. But it's about getting busy now and doing certain things and finding out, you know, who has what interests, who is going to be able to lead and and what we can do. So I think a, a a publication like that could be very advantageous for people to get to know who's who and who they can connect with. Uh, and then also this idea of a spotlight of a, a video spotlight of the membership <coughs> and that can be a celebrity or someone who has social influence. So I don't think we should limit it to one or the other. Uh, personally, my two cents would be we can find people to highlight from the mom doing her business at home, trying to figure out how to do stuff unique, you know, differently because of COVID to someone who has, you know, a big following, you know, if, if we can pull those celebrities. But I think the base is, the, the foundation is getting some kind of directory that, that we can share who we are and then highlight some of those people. So that's my two. Silky, did you want to say something about this before we move on? I saw your hand up. No, your I'm good. Yeah, I mean, I think they they just taking it way to another level. We just discussing. And oh, Silky, you're it. muted. Silky's muted. I can't hear what she's You're saying. muted. You're talking, but we can't hear Sorry, I apologize. I apologize. Uh, you all have valid points, and I'm just, I'm not going to make it long. But I do agree with Candy, because Candy knows how I work. And then um, I'm agreeing with what you're saying, Lady Hamilton. Um, and, and as far as celebrities go, the focus is to have one of these celebrities, they definitely have to be passionate and stand up for a cause. And mm -hmm. if we do have our stuff together and put and do have it out there, it is going to draw those who are passionate as well as our own personal network and relationships that we have. Because I, all this time of what's been going on, I have talked to a lot of celebrities, not just hip hop, but in, you know, other fields and they have been watching, but it has not been enough for them to come across the border because it's not really set here that we have, even though Africa is already there. 
So, you know, there's a lot of questions. There's a lot of security. There is a, you know, how is it best going to benefit the both of us as well as it attract that type of passion for them to want to stand for. Mm -hmm. And this is how we'll be able to get the celebrities because I do know entertainment, everyone in every field has used entertainment to draw the audience or the public, right? Mm -hmm. But it's even more so or beneficial if you do, if we do get, and I know we will, cause I got a couple of them waiting to, um, to be a part of this cause and to make this man where it's not just about putting them up in the, in, in the front base or whatever mm -hmm. the case may be to make them be even more excellent because they really don't want to draw that type of attention. That's a different type of uh, opening when we're passionate about things. Now you're creating a war against the system of things of what goes on in the entertainment game. Mm -hmm. That's what I need to let you guys know. So the I ones don't want anyone feeling quick, like they're coming the for their, so their bread and butter. The ones that are so quick to jump on is because they want to increase their fan base. Mm -hmm. They probably want to be about that money. Okay, we need the ones. It's not about the money. They're really passionate about uh, our people mm -hmm. and, and the purpose and the whole nine yards. But at the same time, we have to provide this type of security, this type of uh, loyalty, and that we are legit as an organization to go forward. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, I agree. This is great. Thank you. So uh, we'll follow up on this because I think we've got something that we can uh, work with. We started with planting a seed and we can develop it into a way that makes sense for ADDI and then also helping us get our outreach going into the community. But I really do like the idea of the, the directory. So we'll, we'll follow up on that moving forward. Okay, thank you. Thank you. That was a great discussion. All right, so um, I'm going to move on to the next thing, which um, I wanted to share with you what happened with the elections as a follow up because we've been talking about I don't know how many of you were involved in that conversation, but <laughs> for the last like six months, talking about the AU elections. Uh, and so, and this will be in the newsletter when you see it, but um, uh, Mausa Faki Muhammad was reelected as chairman. And then I am not even gonna try to say this lady's amazing last name, Monique, uh, but she is uh, our deputy chairman from Rwanda. And the new commissioners, there's one for agriculture, economic development, education, science and technology, infrastructure and energy, political affairs, peace and security, and social affairs and health. And so all of the people who have been elected uh, will be listed in the newsletter. And I should have that to you in the next day or so. I just have to get a clearance because we added some things and made some changes. So I'm just getting an approval and, and that will come out. But um, what's significant about this again is that because of the African continental free trade area, it's a whole different approach. This has never happened before in history. We've never happened before like this in history. So I think it, it behooves us to be wise and, and, and smart about how we can best utilize the movement of our people because there's billions of us. There's 1.3 billion of us on the planet plus the, the, on the continent, plus those of us living around the world. So there's enough of us to make an impact and change if we could just come together, if we can just come together and, and get organized as we were talking about tonight. So then what are the things that would help us then be structured and organized? So we have this organization, we've got sectors, we've got projects coming forward, you know, and so I'd like to, again, as we look at uh, moving forward and start sharing the screen, that what are we going to do from here? Because it really, she's given us the liberty to do whatever makes sense. You know, it's not where you, it's, it's like the structure where we have to do like, you know, we want, we want to stay within a format, but we have the liberty to extend beyond what we see and think outside the box and look at how we can best mobilize our people for the benefit of our people and do business in the continent and, and, and bridge the gap between the continent and, and those of us who live in the diaspora. 
So the projects will help a lot. Again, I wanna make sure that the opportunities that come up, that you're aware of them for those who might be interested in the investment side with the, the dual coin or the, the holding company or when they open up Chivaco, uh, that you will be aware. But this is a long journey ahead because just think about it. As we look at these infrastructure projects, for example, this idea of building the um, transportation system across the, the belly of Africa, because right now, if you're going from east to west, you got to go down to South Africa, up the other side of the continent. It's just not even cost uh, effective and a lot of times doesn't even make sense for some of the uh, transactions to, to do that. And there is nothing going across the center. So once they do that, they're talking about building cities along the way, all kind of opportunities for, for growth and business. And these are projects that's going to take decades to do. We're talking about 10, 20 year projects. We talk about oil refineries and seaports and airports, um, highway infrastructure. Uh, all these are like legacy projects that's gonna take a long time to get done. And so these are legacy things. Just think if we were in America when they were first building the railroad, those people who own those railroad companies, their, their families were set for forever. You know? And so we, we have to look at what we can do and think outside the box and, and, and how we can come together with these projects and, and move things along. So um, I'd like to see us look at these committees now. Um, thank you. Um, we, can, we can get these um, in addition to, so it's the last thing I have for tonight for me, and then we'll open it up. And hopefully, Agrip, I don't know if your guest has come yet. Um, yep. uh, yes, he, he, he's there. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so I'll just say one, one more last comment from me and that's that uh, rather than meeting every other week, uh, we had uh, were moved to meet once a month and then in between then have our sectors meet and committees meet and our monthly meetings would then be an update on those things. So for example, if we decide that we are gonna move forward with this directory, that that committee would then at our monthly meeting, make an update about what's happening with the directory. If we're gonna do something in the entertainment field or gonna do a project, that committee then, or that sector would make an update. Uh, and that's the same for the other sectors, the engineering, the IT or whatever sectors. So these meetings would just be about updating on the progress of what we're doing as an activity. Okay. so. With that, um, in the email I sent to you, it had, I believe it had the next meetings on there on the check and be sure. But um, in my follow up to this meeting, I will reiterate that again. Uh, and then if for those of you who are interested, Candy, I look forward to speaking with you. It's please meet soon. And um, Khalifa, I, I know that um, I was, I hope to speak to you before today, but thank you so much for, uh, stepping up you know with uh the outreach uh and i'm very excited about anything you have to say <laughs> so thank you so much again um okay so uh with that being said um agrippa if you want to make your introduction and we're going to hear uh from someone about this exciting adua coin uh, th thank you alicia thank you for your leadership um, i sincerely thank all of you for taking the time you know, to call in. We have a lot of work in our hand. Uh, we thank High Excellency for putting us all together. At least I just gave you a, a bit of what we are doing. There are so many projects out there. And I hope that this is going to work for all of us, Black people worldwide, whether we like it or not, we are in the same boat. Whether we are from Africa, whether we are in South America, whether we are here in the United States, Europe, we are all the same. And we notice that. But the good thing is that we have all this talent. And that is what Her Excellency wants to bring on the table. Now, because of the interest of time, we're going to be talking about Odua coin. I learned about Odua coin about a month and a half or two months ago. I have no clue about it. My friend from New Jersey, send me a text message and say, hey, I want you to call in to listen to a presentation on Odua coin. I said, what is Odua coin? 
It says about something like a, a big coins, you know. I said, what is big coin? I don't know, because I, I don't want to be rich. I'm a poor man, and I'm going to die poor. But they say, well, this is about money. Uh, if we come together, we black people, we, we can make it. I said, OK, I call him. Come to find out the CEO, the founder, is from Nigeria, talking about Bitcoin. And his right hand man is a friend that I have known for over 30 years in Los Angeles, Charles Anchan. He's online right now. And I was amazed. And I listened to them, the kind of the presentation they gave to us, how they were able to carry, rather say, is this a Nigerian black people trying to make all black people to be you know, wealthy in this world? I said, oh my God. As soon as we hung up, I bought my big, my, my, my Odua coin. By then, when I bought it, it was 35 cents per coin. Yesterday, when I checked it, I think it was 61 coins. So, so it's going up. And then I went to Google the, the, the big coin that we're talking about is 38,000 per coin. Now, can you imagine if you buy 1,000 of it now in five years? The thing to shift from 30, 30, 37 cents to let's say 20,000. That is wealth. So when I listened to it, I was so excited. The first thing I did, I called my Nigerian youth. I think uh, late last year, most of you see the Nigerian youth that we are protesting about the bad government and so on and so forth. The youth are so organized. So I called some of the leadership and we have a presentation for them. They are so excited. And I think um, they took the big coin to Her Excellency. And I think the presentation with Her, with her Excellency is coming up. So for the interest of time, I would like to introduce Charles uh, Achang. He is the publisher of the Immigrant Magazine. Charles is like my brother. He is the one that I look up to because he's been doing the immigrant magazine all these years. He never shift. He's, he's, he's a focused, dedicated human being, him and his wife. I love them dearly. And I was, I was teasing him, I said, every time I see you and your wife, Pamela, I think about Nelson Mandela, Winnie Mandela, when they were together, then they laugh. So without that saying, I mean, you know, I, I was so happy to, 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 to see Chad that, he was involved with Bitcoin. And I and I think all of us here listen to Charles, you know, give the presentation, think about it, invest in it. Maybe five years from now, some of you are gonna thank us that we brought this into your attention. Because I know this Odua coin is going to be better than the Bitcoin that we have out there. The Bitcoin. Black people can come together. So Charles. Hey, over the floor. Let me, can I say something? The yes. Bitcoin, the Bitcoin is 51,000 right now. Oh, 51,000. See, when I checked it, it was uh, two weeks ago. It yeah. was 38,000. Now it's 51,000. Think about it. <laughs> Think about that. Okay. Yes. Charles. Are you, oh, brother, easy. Wait, wait, yes, ma. You make my head want to blow up. <laughs> First of all, easy. I want yes. to thank you because. You know that I have a lot of respect and admiration for your leadership. You know, thank you. You know, you you are one of the greatest Pan Africanists I know. You have been on the floor working with everybody since I, we started the magazine. Since I came to California, you've been building the community and you've never stopped. And to thank that, we you. give a lot of credit to our sister, our Queen Alicia Hamilton. I want to thank you for your leadership and all of you on this platform. You are all leaders, all the queens. I call our women are queens. They are all queens, and that you are representing all of us at this time in space. Now, as Izzy already explained, I'm Charles Ann Chang from the Immigrant Magazine, but I'm wearing a different hat today. Now, because when you do media, you get access to information, and information is key about the evolution and development of the people. Now, for so long, we, the people of African descent, have been under a lot of distress for a core reason. We don't control our economy. For that reason, we've been made slaves, we've been, we've been segregated against, 
we've been colonized and we've been neocolonized to the point where we're even meant to think that we cannot own we cannot own wealth and we cannot create we cannot create our own money which is terrible so what has been happening has been happening for so long for so long and uh in 2009 when we had 2008 when the economy had a major crash in uh, america the real estate crash one guy used a technology called blockchain now for those of you who might not understand what blockchain is blockchain is a distributed ledger it's a, look at it as a thousands of computers all working together uh, on on those computers transactions are being verified but every transaction is verified by all the all the computers working at the same time so there is no fraud so when we when this guy saw satoshi's name is, is called satoshi when he saw that the money has been changing and the america and the world are just printing money and just printing money and this is not, not actually backed actually back in nixon's time the fiduciary backing of gold has gone so he came up with a method using this technology called blockchain where people cannot fraud anymore you cannot double spend you cannot cheat if you execute a transaction it is verified and it, it's it's confirmed so that is the genesis of what bitcoin is that technology called blockchain which is a distributed ledger that allows people to send um an asset be it a digital asset like a, a, a coin a money or maybe even it could be a document to a peer to peer without a third party intervening in the transaction without a third party intervening in the, in the transaction is called the blockchain technology and they use a they use a, they use a method within that technology called encryption that's where the word cryptocurrency comes from so when you see bitcoin called as a cryptocurrency is because of the crypt, the encryptment in that data that is sent from point a to point b so that is what blockchain is all about and that's why bitcoin is the first currency built on blockchain which is a massive thing just think about this way in in a back when well, i have things about 20 25 30 years ago we did not have the about 30 years ago we did not have the internet the internet then came when the internet came guess what happened it changed the way we communicate it, we now have cell phones we now have email we now have a lot of other uh, e-commerce and a lot of things happening because of the internet that was web 2.0 blockchain is doing to the internet is doing to transactions what the internet did to telecommunications so blockchain is going to change the way we transact how money flows from point a to b and how money is also generated and circulated so this is a massive massive deal for us now the question is where do we people of african descent how do we how does this work for us we've seen them we've seen the blockchain of uh, we've seen a uh, bitcoin blockchain come to life there's there are other there are other uh, uh, digital currencies like ethereum those are russian we have others monero cardano many other co companies that are building their own but how many of these blockchains how many of these innovations are owned by us because if you if you think well if you look at some um, uh, innovation in the world one thing is constant we, we keep changing and ev evolution keeps changing and we keep getting better and better at technology and communication and what have we what happens in the process is the people that come together and fund those technologies are the people that make the most money if you look at companies like facebook amazon you look at companies like um, uh, uh, google uh, uh, for all the big companies even uber all these airbnb people came together at the beginning stages and they said this is our business we're going to fund it and so we'll make a lot of money down the road okay so basically is the same principle the people that come together at the early stages are the people that stand to win the biggest 
Okay, how many of us are usually participants at this? Most of us, we are we Pan African people, we are so brilliant. We work at IBM, we work at all these big corporations, most often times. Sometimes we are even actually the innovators. We have the intellectual property and the mind, but most often times we don't even have the aptitude and the capacity to sustain the intellectual property. So we just work. So we don't get to own most of these assets. So trillions of dollars are made, but are made out of us. Then when you go to Africa, our assets, we don't control either. The gold and diamonds, even our money is not controlled most often by us. Our economies are not even controlled by us because of new colonization. So we, we are always kept out of the decision-making platforms when it comes to the global economy in terms of how we trade with one another and how we could grow our own economic power. Our good friend, Dr. Aluya says, for our people to compete and lead, they need three, they need three M's. One M is media, another M is military, and the third one is money. So one, if you don't control one of these M's, it is very difficult for you to participate in the global space as a competitor. So when we look at, look at what we are dealing with today as people of Pan-African descent, of African descent and all over the world, our biggest challenge is we are always complaining because we don't control the economic systems that manage us most of the times. We work for them, but we don't control them. So what happened with us in 2018 when I met the gentleman called Mr. Bright in Abulele, who is a, a blockchain developer, uh, a, a software engineer, and uh, an entrepreneur who had been investing in Bitcoin since 2009 and 10. He told me something specific. He said, Charles, there is a big opportunity. There's a slip in the crack for our people. Something has happened here that's massive. What Bitcoin has demonstrated, we can do the same. And we can do it for our people this time. Because if you look at what Bitcoin has done, Bitcoin started in 2008. They were trying to give away coins for 10 cents, three cents. And people did not understand what this blockchain money was, what this digital money was. So it was in the dark for a while. Then once people, the institution started understanding that this thing is really immutable, it's really dependable, it's decentralization of money, it is, it's, it's freedom of money. It's, I can trade with you wherever you are without somebody bugging me. They started coming in in numbers. It's decentralized money. So Bitcoin started at 10 cents or two, 8 cents. Today, because they have only 21 million coins ever minted, today, uh, they are one coin, one coin today because of the demand by the community of Bitcoin, the people that own the coins and the market that it has generated. One coin today, as you just heard, is selling for $51,000, $51, one coin, because of scarcity. Why? Because the people around this community and that own these coins have kept their coins over time and the use case of the coin has grown and now the value is high. So it's even higher than gold. So Odua, is the same concept. Odua is the same as Bitcoin. It's same 21 million coins. This, this blockchain software engineer was a genius. He copied the same protocol as Bitcoin, made, made the algorithm faster. So on, on, on the Odua blockchain platform, you can send money faster than you can do on the Bitcoin. On Bitcoin, you have to spend money to send money peer to peer. On Odua, you don't have to do that because he's thinking about the people. How do I make it work for my people? Okay. Secondly, he also made it free for you to send your Odua from point A to point B because he understood that we've been struggling for a long time. He doesn't want us to come into this domain of blockchain and struggle too much with a lot of expenses. So he made that added value for the Odua blockchain currency. So we have only 21 million coins as, 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 as Bitcoin does have. 6.3 million of the coins, you cannot get them in the market. You have to mine them. Mining is a procedure that happens like uh, happens when you verify transactions on the blockchain and you earn the currency. So that happens over time. It takes years for people to mine that volume. The rest of the coins 
go to the community, the community, the owners, the people like you, me, who own the coins. We are the owners of the coin. We own the platform. So when you own this platform and the platform develops, is over time because we start using this money. The demand for the money surges, it increases, and guess what? The value of that currency increases over time. That's how it works. So blockchain has given us that same opportunity. This time, coming from us, we have the opportunity now as people of African descent all over a Pan-African community to create and control money, which has not happened in a long time. Because when you look at Africa, you go to Nigeria, it's the Naira. You go to Cameroon, it's the CFA. You go to uh, 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 Ghana, it's the CD. It's different, different money. That when you leave Africa, going to Europe, the money has no value. When you leave Europe, you go to Africa, your money has value. So we're trying to cut through all that craziness and come on a blockchain where we can have our money and where we can control it and we can spend it and we can earn because it is our ecosystem. So that's why we're here. That's why when we spoke with um, uh, uh, Her Excellency, she understood because she was in the she was en route to create a currency because we, the only solution for Africa is blockchain. There's on blockchain. There's no corruption. There is no there, there's no inflation. Every transaction is verified. It's real. We cannot cheat. So it is the right platform for us to generate our future currency and be able to trade and compete with the world. So that is where we are today. We have this opportunity now where we are looking for early adopters. We have built the chain because in 2018, when we started, we tried to raise money, but we could not raise a lot of money because we are not finished the blockchain. So we went ahead and we put a lot of sweat and a lot of money to building the platform completely. So we have a complete platform that is functional. You can verify it, you can try it, you can, you can test it, you can even try to hack it. If you try to hack it and you succeed, we'll pay you for doing that. It's very secure, very strong, and it has that same opportunity as Bitcoin had in 2010 for our people this time. But the only thing we need to do is that we need to come together a mass and own it. We need to come and own it when, when, when the decimals are to the left hand side. Right now, as we, Easy was saying, the decimals uh, is, is about maybe 50, 60 cents on the exchanges, all right? I will give you time for Q&A for some things you might not understand to ask to, to, for questions. Let's get them while the decimals are below uh, on the left hand side. When the decimals move on to the right hand side, then is when you cash in. And that's how we can empower our people and ourselves because if we generate 10,000 millionaires or 20,000 millionaires, Bitcoin has generated in the past uh, uh, 10 years about almost 30,000 millionaires within the Bitcoin community. Now, just imagine how much impact that has within that community. So we are thinking the same like, why don't we do the same thing within our community and generate if we generate 10 million millionaires, there are 10,000 millionaires, I'm sorry, 10,000 millionaires or more within the community, how many jobs could we have created? How many projects could we fund? How many things could we do? How, how many of our organizations would be more empowered? That is our thought process. That's our intention. And doing this through a secure platform and blockchain that is secure, dependable, and can compete with the global economy. That's the opportunity being presented to the ADDI. Okay, so next Saturday, uh, our, our Queen, um, uh, Her Excellency Kwao, will be presenting the coin as the Pan-African Digital Currency, which is a, it's a, great, it's a great thing for us. It's a great thing. As a matter of fact, I just got word from uh, the CEO today, uh, the coin has been integrated on coin payment systems. Coin payment is a coin payment uh, money exchange system that would permit the coin to be traded in 180 countries already as it is. So we are looking at giving ADDI members the opportunity because we had some coins in the vault. We had some coins in the vault. We are looking at how do we empower our community and our people? Let us make access, give them access to the coins for a discount. Come in and get it for a discount. We don't want you to come in. Don't come in and for, for the short term. Come in and get it for a discount. Give us time 
to integrate the bigger exchanges, the Binance, the Coinbase, and the other bigger organizations. Let us make the money grow for you. So that way we can have in the, in the two, three years, we can be talking about how much money we have, not how much money we need to borrow. We can be talking about what we need to do with us controlling it, not asking somebody to give us financing. That is my, that is my little contribution for today. I'm open. If you have any questions, I'd like to answer questions. I think Q&A is where a lot of people learn. So I'm open. If you have any questions, please send them my way. I, More than happy. I have one just real quick for because I've been speaking to several people and they were very excited about hearing more information. And I yeah. thank you so much and for everything that you do. You and your wife are just, just we just love you. Thank um, you. But the question is, um, there was a, uh, if you're a member of ADDI, that you would be able to get this discount. In one place I saw that it was 50% off and then another one was getting it for 20 cents uh, per coin. Do you uh -huh. know? Okay, so what's the difference between the half off it's, and the 20 cents per coin? It's going to be 50% off. 50%, because okay. It's going to be 50% off, 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 the, off the trading value on that day. Okay. So far, we're looking, we're around 60 cents. So you're going no. to be around, yes, you're around no, 60 cents. I, I, actually, I just checked it just now, it's 67 cents. It went oh, up 11, okay. it went up 11.03%. Uh, 11. So I just checked it just now. Okay, I know, because the more people buy, the more the value goes up. That's the, that's the, that's the challenge. But anyway, we'll make sure you guys get at 50%. That, that I can say that for sure, based on what the CEO told me this afternoon. Are you so going how to, do we do that? Is there some, you, is that the link that you have on? There's a page to correct. go and um, register on ADDI. I'll post correct. that in the chat too. So if yes. you go to that page and you buy through that page, then correct. you'll get fifty percent off. Okay, I'm going to post that here for you guys. I've already posted the registration for the Zoom, but yes. I'll also post where you can buy it as well. Okay. Thank Absolutely. You. Yes. I'm yeah. open. I'm, I'm, I like questions. I have a question. Um, you mentioned that this is the official digital currency um, of the Pan-African movement. Are there any plans to actually make this currency capable of being exchanged for goods and services, or is it yes. going to still remain? Yes, absolutely. You know, digital currency is just money. We are money. Right, but okay. you can't spend it. So it's, it's like, it's theoretical. If you can't actually exchange it for something, like get something out of it, like sure. I know people who say, "Oh, I'm a billionaire in you know whatever digital currency that they yeah, own," right. but if you can't buy a house with it, you can't, you know. Good. I hear you very well. You can trade with the currency. You can exchange it for fiat currency on an exchange. Okay. Or you can use it. We have a marketplace. We actually have developed a project called Odua Marketplace. And we have an app called Odua Pay. All right. That is a, that's an app that mirrors your, 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 your app, your, your wallet okay. from, the, from the blockchain. With this, with this app, you become a merchant. You can receive okay. and send Odua to any, to any merchant. That's what that I want to hear. Correct. Yes. And also, if you go to coin payment system, you can convert your Odua. If you want to exit, you just convert your Odua into whatever currency you want to. You want to convert it into dollars or convert it into um, euros, it's okay as an exit. You go to an exchange. We are just currency. So okay. yeah, yeah, the only thing we, we, we feel that would happen is if the demand for the currency rises, the value of the currency might go up. I cannot predict the value. I, I cannot. But we know that if the demand rises in the market based on the on the platforms we have built. We have a career institute that we've developed for, for education for people of African descent to get access to for cheap. And then artificial intelligence, blockchain information, um, cyber technology, and, and much more. Then we have the marketplace. You can go to the marketplace and become a merchant and you can buy and sell goods and receive your money as Odua. We have many other things in development, even in remittance, and even somewhat in insurance that we're developing to assist the liquidity of the blockchain. And we'll be developing, okay. we, hope, we, hope, we, hope, we, hope, we hope to establish within the course of the year an ATM machine where you can go and deposit and withdraw. So Great. there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, integrations we're building upon that would facilitate 
the liquidity of the money because you want to use your money and you want to earn the money and use the money. You don't want to just earn value and you can't use it. It doesn't make exactly. sense. Exactly. Then it's just Correct. theoretical. Um, yes. And how do you become a miner? Good. To become a miner, you just need to have a laptop, a laptop, and you connect, you have a, you download the QT wallet. Once you download the QT wallet, make sure you save your password because on the mining, on the mining wallet, you connected to the blockchain, the security is very tight. You must okay. keep your password. You cannot lose it. If you lose your password on your Odua Pay wallet, you can, we can change it. That's where we're better than most uh, other uh, stores of value. You can change your password and use a three-step authentication and you get back into the system. But on your mining wallet, there, is no, there are no games. You must have your specific phrase or password kept in a secret place. So that way... This information will be available at the meeting upcoming on the twentieth after Correct. how to become a miner. Yeah, uh, on um, uh, that will be that will be too much after this. This focus now we are focusing now more on mass adoption. The on mining, what mass production? Mass adoption, yes. What people of African descent all over to come on come on come on board fast. Okay. Then when you come on board, we we'll, we'll start training you how to mine once you're in the system. Okay. So we need to. We need the community. The community builds the power. Without right. the numbers, without the numbers, we don't have the power. We have a one point something billion people, and more. Let's come together in some millions together and demonstrate that we have. We can. We can show power through a money eco, a, mo, a money ecosystem like blockchain. Once okay. we do that, yeah, yeah, that's 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 the, that's the secret. That's the key. Yeah. Okay. Hello, good evening, everyone. This is Bamboo. I, I was listening since, and sorry for being late, Alicia. Uh, <laughs> Charles, how are you, my brother, Adrian what Bamboo, was, and was, Queen uh, Khalifa? I'm, I'm just, I just woke up. I'm sorry because I'm, I'm on the training on uh, cybersecurity with uh, okay. Doctor Adu, and it's also another hub that yes. is all onto. Uh, that will pay $11,000 per month for people who have been trained and our people. Mm -hmm. And uh, Charles, I reinforce what you said, because uh, if you see in Africa right now, the guy, people who are mining in their house are living in a hut and there are <laughs> miners in, 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 in Kenya. I'm telling you, these boys are working in, in, during, in, that, in Nigeria during the riot last time. The bank has to block internet because young people was exchanging uh, money. The, the bank of uh, the Nigerian bank was closed. I shut down all the account. The kids will still continue to buy item and sell and challenge the government with their uh, cryptocurrency at the point that today uh, is what they are using on their platform to make sure that they can exchange. And the last thing that's what I want to bring for Charles and for people who don't know, there is today, there is an athlete, it was last year, he asked not to be paid with his salary like money. He requests to be paid with cryptocurrency because he know exactly where we are going with that. And, and uh, Alicia, we talk about cryptocurrency was in 2013 or 2011. I was still, I was already here. And we start to do a platform in 2013. This is what we'll be gonna use, we'll be using in the future. And for us, for the 55 countries in Africa, uh, if we come together, is is what we want to do because we always have a doubt and say, oh, will I get my money or will I get things? I enter with Akon when Akon was doing his fundraising in one month. These men put billions of dollars on cryptocurrency. And today the coin is, it will launch it soon, but the coin is just blowing. I bought some, I have a little bit of money, but this is where we have to jump. And Charles and Shang, thank you for bringing it. All what is concerning cybersecurity and cryptocurrency is the future in Africa. If you don't believe it, stay and, and, and look and watch. Rather than being, uh, you will still continue to be in the main menu rather than being at the table and <laughs> participating on the dinner and participating in the decision-making. Thank, Thank you, Charles. You. Thank you. Thank you, Adrian. Thank you so much. Charles, are you connected to the Black Blockchain Summit? Black Blockchain Summit? Have you mm -hmm. heard of it? 
No, we have, I've, I've not heard of it. Okay. I've not heard um, of it. It's an, and it could be a really great resource for you to help grow okay. the awareness of this coin as well. It's an annual summit held at Howard University, and okay. it's all about the blockchain, cryptocurrency, and um, financial freedom for our people. Oh, good. We'll definitely, I'll definitely look up, look up to that. But actually, um, I would love Odua, to yes, Odua is actually the one of the first black, completely independent build public blockchains. Black, black, black innovation is the first one. That's why um, uh, the, the, uh, Her Excellency is behind it strong, because mm. there are two kinds of um, uh, coins. There are, there are those that people have that, for instance, what Acoin has for the project in Senegal is Acoin that will work for the project. Now, but that is different. That might be a private blockchain. This is a public blockchain. A public blockchain is like you own your own mainnet. This is, a digit, this is a, an organic currency of the mainnet. That means it's equal to a Bitcoin. That means it has the global capacity capacity to travel and to be exchanged because it's not dependent on a third party platform. Some of the other people have their currencies on Ethereum. Right. That is called ERC20. That, that, those are not blockchain. Those are third party projects that right. they, they, they mean their coin on someone else's. If something happens to Ethereum, then they're in trouble. Mm -hmm. Odua is organic. It okay. controls. It's an independent mainnet built from scratch and it owns so and from the blockchain. blockchain. Yeah, that gives on the blockchain. That's the difference. There are two very few currencies are blockchain currencies. Right. Most of them are tokens. They are not blockchain currencies. They are not organic to a mainnet, which is the whole computer infrastructure built to coordinate and host and protect the ecosystem. Right. So there are two different things. There are few of them. There are not many. There are thousands of them are currencies, but very few are true um, uh, virtual currencies like Bitcoin. So, okay. and Odua, Odua is, we call Odua the, the most viable alternative to Bitcoin. The this development is. is Thank is you. Wow, for sharing all of this. Can we, get the ad can we get the website to go to or whatever? Actually, it's on the chat. It's posted, it's posted in the it's chat. It's posted on the chat. Yes. So what I see, I oh, checked, and it didn't go. It didn't go to any. It just was registration for the next. Oh, oh Odua Coin that IO. You can go to Odua that org. Either Odua that org. Okay. Odua yeah. org. Okay. Yes. Okay. Go to but, Odua org. But also to sign up for the discount through ADDI, there's a second post in the chat. Our That's ADDI. Where you go. org for. Oh wait, where is it? Uh, okay, I see it. Our, okay. our ADDI org. That's where you sign up. Yeah, yeah, forward slash a doest dash coin. It's mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, did, Jessandra, did you have a, 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 something to say? I see your hand is up. Yes. Hi, uh, Lady Hamilton. How are you? Hi. Good to see you. <laughs> good, good. I just wanted to just piggyback on um, Candy's concern about um, um, the viability of the coin, because um, that is a common question. Um, among our people as I share the dual coin and the opportunity. Um, and so one of the things that we're working on, I'm part of the marketing team, we are working on sharing, um, well, actually the pandemic has really created a unique opportunity. Um, so what I do, um, because I have a business consulting company and I talk to business owners all the time, I let them know this is a unique opportunity to get new brand new eyeballs on your brand um, at the same time, support a black owned created coin. And so by, by accepting the coin on their, um, on their websites, there's, there's plugins that are available. We have several, Shopify, WooCommerce, um, the list goes on. And so um, you're gonna see a explosion. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm encouraging everyone to get the coin now, even before Saturday. Because once the word gets out with um, organizations such as ADDI um, is accepting and acknowledging and um, endorsing the coin, the word is going to get out and immediately more people are going to buy it and the value is going to go up. And so, um, like I said, the pandemic has really, really created a unique opportunity to um, share with business owners who right now are having some challenges, especially those who, who are pivoting from brick and mortar to online. 
uh, wondering how they're going to make this pivot. And so I encourage them, give them kind of a unique perspective, like, hey, won't you, in addition to taking fiat, um, take, you know, the dual coin. So now you got this, you know, this brand new um, community that would love to support you uh, because, you know, we are trying to, you know, come together as one on top of that. So you, you're kind of taking care of two things at one time. You're supporting a black owned business as well as you are supporting a, a up and coming coin that is changing the game um, in terms of us coming together as one and creating our own ecosystem and, and creating our own um, power because we spend billions of dollars annually, um, you know, spending money with people that don't even like us. <laughs> Let's just keep it real, you know. Nice. So, uh, you mean know, nice. no. <laughs> don't like us at all. You know what I'm saying? And kill us on the spot. Yeah, yeah stop so, this. Yeah. No nonsense. <laughs> you know. And, and, and start recycling so, black global dollars. <laughs> you know, we we need to start recycling our global powerful black dollars yeah. ASAP. And book one is let's just stop calling it dollars. Let's stop even giving the dollar any attention or power. Oh, Amen. That's true. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, uh, just, Sandra, let me comment what uh, what you just said. Thank you very much for for saying what you just said. On on Sunday, um, the Cure Committee uh, with Alicia will be putting the agenda together for today. I will talk about Odua coin. And I say, look, the founder and Charles, they all live in Los Angeles. They are Californian. We need to make sure our ADDI California know about this before the whole ADDI group gonna be on board. Mm -hmm. I mean, I say California is my home. So yeah. all of you are my sisters and, and brothers. I said, so Alicia said, are we gonna get, I said, I'm gonna text Charles right now. And I text her, Charles says, Charles, we're going to have California ADDI meeting on Wednesday. Will you drop everything you're doing to join us so you can let our black sister to be the first one to hear this from you? He said, absolutely, I will be there. So, uh, uh, Josandra, thank you very much. This is an opportunity. When this thing go out there, it's going to be higher than what it is right now. So Amen. do your best and sign up. Yes. Thank this you. Is the time. This is our time. Truly, yes. our time. Thank you, Thank you Queen Josandra. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's our CBO, our Chief Visionary Officer of a dual coin. CBO. Yeah. There you go. CBO. <laughs> you. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a wonderful time tonight, huh? This has been a great meeting, meeting of the minds. Um, following up from here, like I said, we need to get our committees together and, and uh, you know, get some things focused. Um, I see that our brother Marshawn did join us this evening. Uh, we will hear from him probably at the next meeting since we didn't prep it before now and his um, ideas for this million dollar membership drive. Uh, but Marshawn, just as a follow-up, uh, Gail Scott uh, has been working with the engineers and um, now uh, Ms. Khalif is gonna be stepping up uh, along with, um, I'm sorry, I'm drop, dropping a name, but we, we will do that as a, as a, um, uh, you know. Uh, well, I was supposed to be in Tulsa. I was supposed to be in Tulsa this week, but it snowed oh. in. So oh. I've got to wait a couple more weeks, but we were going to get to Tulsa, to get ready for the 100 year anniversary of the uh, Tulsa riots right. and get ready to start us off there. And then we we're going to use that as the campaign market to bring the ADDI. We got a lot of news. We got the documentary set. We got a lot of team players that's going to be there. So we just waiting for the snow to go so we can get to Tulsa and start everything up. But we're ready. So we want to make sure you have the marketing materials and stuff. And so let's talk after uh, today offline and okay, make sure perfect. you have the materials you need so you can um, you can promote. Um, we did have a post in the uh, chat. Thank you, Khalifa, that the Pan-African Virtual Film Festival will be from uh, February 28th through March 14th uh, at PAFF.org. Um, and so uh, that, that thank you very much for posting that there. Absolutely. Uh, I want to say that the art that is going on at Aziz Gallery, 3343 West 43rd Street in Lamert. So we're having a limited number of local vendors that are there. The artwork of the zeal, we have uh, a couple of artists. Smiles from Africa, 
and Jeffrey Stevenson exhibiting their work. So I'm encouraging everyone to come to Lamert Park, support this effort. Uh, Alan is in Ghana, I believe. He's still in Ghana right now. So um, it's still going on. And everybody, please come out and support. I did drop the address to Aziz Gallery in the chat. So I'm expecting to see all of you at some point between now and March 14th. Thank is it going to be online too? So those of us who no, the uh, no, you can walk right in. We are uh, we're enforced, enforcing COVID, so come with your mask. We have a sanitizer. If you don't have a mask, we're providing masks for you. We are social distancing, letting a few people come in. You know, at at the same time, and the atmosphere is wonderful, spiritual, and and just come and enjoy as if you were in the mall. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So uh, we had great takeaways. Uh, like I said, I will do a, a summary from this meeting and post some of these um, ideas to uh, follow up on for committees and movement. Uh, so I thank everyone for their contribution. Hopefully you will join us on Saturday to get more information. In addition mm -hmm. to the Adua coin, there's gonna be a cybersecurity training academy um, that's also an opportunity for young people to learn about cybersecurity. Great field. They'll, they'll actually do the training for them. Um, okay. So like we went over today, but I think it was time well spent. Very well worth it. Does anybody have any final comments before we wrap up? Oh, there you are, Gwen. Sorry. Hey, what you yeah, got? Yeah, I've been trying to say something. <laughs> yeah. Hi, everybody. I've been listening to everything. And this is my second time. I was on last time, the last meeting. And I left my, my form and email, but I didn't get any information that I was expecting to get from, from the organization, from you guys. So I'm still was expecting something. And am I going to get it? Was I added to the list to send out information, stuff like that? You know what, can you, can you, can you post a message to me here right now in the chat? And I'll make sure it could have been that it didn't. Um, that, so you haven't gotten, because I've been sending emails out all month. So you haven't gotten, I haven't gotten anything. anything. I, ha I gave my email address and my phone number, my cell phone. No okay, can you please that. do it again? We've been kind of tied up. I apologize for that. But if you can post it to me here, I'll make sure that we add it today. And you guys okay. all have a witness that I said it. So if she comes back next month, you can get me good. But uh, <laughs> uh, my apologies for that. Please post that to me here and we can make okay. sure we add and it. I wanted to ask a question about the currency. Is it going to be a traded in an international, um, like the international trade, you know, uh, exchange. stock exchange, international exchange? exchange? Yeah, yeah. Uh, cryptocurrencies have their exchanges, like Coinbase, Binance, Robinhood, yeah. their exchanges that do cryptocurrency, yes. We're, we're going there. We're already now on coin payments, coin payment system, not an mm -hmm. companies. So you can go there, buy currency, trade, convert your currency to other currency. If you're a merchant, you can also come on board and receive the currency as payment for your goods. So there's a lot of developments in the making, which, which we are scaling. If we get mass adoption taken care of, we'll now then integrate the bigger exchanges like Coinbase and Binance, Robinhood, so people can trade better and make more money. Well, I do have a stock account, um, a brokerage account with TD Ameritrade. Would I be able to pick it up on that? No, that's for IPOs. That's a different market. You, know, okay. you have to go to a market that works with cryptocurrency. There are exchanges that are specialized for cryptocurrency, like Robinhood. So um, um, you said that you can purchase some of the currency now, a, a percentage that will tell you how much if you want to get so many. And I would like to get a website. That you can go what you said you mentioned about purchasing okay. the currency. So I would like to get okay. on that. Get that. Okay. So can it be if I leave my email? Can so you part of the email? ADDI? Pardon me? Sure, sure. Sure. Okay. What, 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 sure, sure. Send me send me an email, but I'll, I'll I'll recommend since you're part of the ADDI, you follow yeah. that around because yes, you have a special discount. Yeah, I am yeah, you have a special discount which is, which is a benefit to you. You want to use that. So you can go register. Okay. I will send you at odua.org. I will, I will send it to you, odua.org. Register your wallet so you have a wallet. Then you buy it through okay. the ADDI system. So that way you get a discount. 
because that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to empower the members of the ADDI with a better price so that we all, we all scale together. You understand? Okay. Sounds mm -hmm. good. Sounds good. Yes. Like that. Yes. Okay. So thank I'll you. post my information right now. Okay. Oh, love you. Okay. All right, Alicia. All right. Thank you, guys. So this <laughs> has been wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, please. Alicia. Yes. I just wanted to let you know that I sent you my email because I too had signed on. This is Vera Lewis and Charles Lewis. This is Yolanda. <laughs> I didn't know who that was. Okay. I know that's my daughter. We're using oh, okay. her thing. Okay. okay. But we did put our email in, but we never received anything. So I sent it to your email right now, your text. Okay. So thank you. So I'll update this. I got Helen Donald's information. Um, Gwen, please post yours here. And then Sarah, I am I posting it right now. So. Okay. So, so this will wrap us today. Like I said, you know, we went over, but like I said, I think it was time well spent. I will still send my summary uh, out to you guys after this. And uh, uh, great to see you, Vera and Charles. You know, I love you guys. Um, I saw it in my text uh, where you posted your email. So I'll make sure that we have it. And Vera and, and Gwen, I see yours now as, as right. well. Okay. Okay. So thank you, everyone. One more question. I'm on the, I register and I'm on the website. So I have to go to a wallet. Oh, when you, when you register? Uh huh. You, you register now, now you have a wallet. Okay. Okay. So, so when you go now to our ADDI and register to buy, yes. When you buy your, when you buy your coin, they will put it in your wallet. Use okay. the same email. Okay. Because your email will be in a, data, in a database. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so you register. When you register, you have a wallet. You have a wallet address. It's like yeah. your bank account. It's your digital bank account with Odua. Yeah. So that then is I what it. To, then I go to Odua and buy the. Then I actually buy there. Yeah. Go to go to our our ADDI. Okay. The link they give you. That's where you can buy for discount. Yeah, it's okay. in the post. The yes. it's um look in the chat. It's um our ADDI.org yes. slash Odua dash coin. Okay. So you can get the I discount. Did. Yes. Okay. Okay, right I see. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. All right, guys. Well, thanks again. And uh, we will see you next month with meetings in between. And uh, appreciate everyone. Uh, again, if you haven't received anything, my apologies, but I will take, I have three addresses I will be adding tonight as I shut this down to make sure you're on our mailing list. Okay. All right. So okay. thank you again. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Thank you, Easy. Thank you, Alicia. Thank you, everybody. Always thank welcome. Thank you. Good job. Keep the passion alive. Yes. Good thank job. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.